And what I'm trying to tell you is, you have more faith than I do. Yep, new friends. And you're decrying Christians for saying, yeah, yeah, we believe what a book says, and you believe what your books say. So, so here's what here's what I would just tell you. What you're putting forward, you're saying that sometimes there's not an answer for it, and then you go back to try to there's try to make I'm an answer. I'm not saying there's not an okay, answer. So. For it. I'm just saying you guys don't want to see. We just we are people. We have evolved for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. We have went. How was that by faith? I'm not. You believe that one man said, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna create people that will have the opportunity." To, Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Right. You believe God. Science. He's not a man. Anymore. I didn't. I, yeah, I'm not saying here saying I'm what, a scientist. But, but what? But what's science? So, I'm not even saying science. But it's yeah, just, you just you've said I science evolved. like 12 times. I was I was 12 years old once. Mm -hmm. I thought Kool Aid jammers and Tostitos. You still you still like, you still like that, I still right? eat them. Yeah. But I thought those are what built big strong boys. Oh yeah yeah. 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 I'm a yeah. grown man now. Yeah. Exactly. We've okay, matured as people. It is evolution. We, I've evolved. From Kool Aid jammers. Were you a were, were you a were you a bacteria when you were born and then grew into the human being? Or were you I a mean, human? That's being? exactly what you are. You are you are a formation of two people who come together, right? Mm -hmm. Fertilize and you grow. And my parents, thankfully, yeah. kept. So you would say? I mean, but that's not. Some, yeah. some people yeah. might say unfortunately. But that's but that's not that's not evolution in what you're putting forward. That's microevolution. Yeah, you've adapted I've, to your surroundings. I've evolved and adapted. No, but you haven't. But you haven't macroly evolved. You haven't gone from exactly. one. So macroevolution would be I I start out as a bacteria and then I go to another species and then. When, uh, I'm, when I'm consumptive, when the egg is fertilized, I'm you're a human being. I'm a, I'm a human being. That's I'm scientific not, I'm not fact. Here, I'm not sitting here debating that, but I've grown from yep. that. Right? Yep, you've evolved. Microevolution. Yeah. We're not saying microevolution doesn't exist. What I'm saying is he isn't going to evolve into a dragon or a monkey. I'm not or, saying that either. But yes, you are. Because well, they got, that's the only way we got here I'm from your world. I'm not saying from a dragon. I'm saying we evolved as human beings. We are what, did we, what did we start out as? We just evolved. You're saying God. From the primordial soup I'm saying and the Big Bang. Okay, all you need is Buildings, the street, the cars, the, the the watch I'm wearing, the paper that I'm using. How did the watch come into existence? People. Somebody made it. Somebody made it. What about this building? Someone made it. What about this speaker? Somebody made it. What about you? Somebody made it. Somebody made it. Somebody made so, it. So, so, so we everything. Have been here but, far but, before God, but we, we were throwing rocks in here. Oh, yeah, but what, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get you to see is that everything you can point to in creation has somebody a creator. Made somebody right. made it. But then you get down to okay, who made who made so what happened at the beginning? Like you talk about the Big Bang. How did we get from oh, we were once creatures that we would domesticate. That's what I'm we saying. We were once what? Creatures, brother. We were just people walking on this. No, but we weren't that's not what evolution teaches, man. We weren't people. You weren't a human being when the, the primordial soup exploded and made the universe. You were microbacteria and through survivors. time and chance acting on matter over millions and millions and billions of years, you became where you are. Yep. And what I'm trying to tell you is, you have more faith than I do. Yep, new friends. And you're decrying Christians for saying, yeah, yeah, we believe what a book says, and you believe what your books say. And so so here's what here's what I would just encourage you with. The, que the question is, it's not about what books we read. It's about whose worldview is actually consistent with what they say. So what I, I would say there is consistency. Our Christian is not necessarily a country, folks. It's not that we No, no, no. They have no, no. chance to we all sing here, we preach but ourselves. Great, so what? Yes, I just, I just why do we why do we preach? Is why we're asking. I don't know why you preach like that. What's like, like the murder of Ada? You think one thing, another person thinks another thing. Uh -huh. so I just, I just don't get why you sit here. Because there is yeah. Because, and then just say, because there's there's there is objective you know truth that exists. And we talk about like murder. Okay, we can we can say but there's an objective truth that exists. That exists beyond our mere convention or like what we believe. So for example, two hundred years ago in the state of South Carolina it was legal to, to own and enslave a black person. And the vast majority of the people in my home state thought it was a good thing. And yet and yet there was an objective truth that still exists that those human beings, they were human beings. They weren't black people. Same thing with the Jews in the Holocaust. They were human beings. So 
there's an objective truth that existed, but society said, no, we're, that's not a Jew, that's a, that's, or that's not a person, that's a Jew, or no, that's not a person, that's a black man. And what I'm saying is, there's objective truth that exists in all reality. And the objective truth is that God exists. And the only, but that's the only consistent way to say what you've said already, that human beings deserve to be valued and protected. Because if we are merely the, the process, the end process of evolutionary processes, then you can't say if a guy pulled an AK out and started shooting people, that it wasn't the evolutionary process at work. It's strong over weak, man. If you got an AK, you kill people. Like it's it's part of the evolutionary process. So be honest, I don't really agree with that. But that's my personal thing. If someone came to me and said we're having a child, and I'm gonna abort. I'm not. Don't do that. Why? Because I'm, I'm not going to I mean, if it's my child, it's my child. But why not? But what if, it, what if it's somebody else? What? Let's, oh, hold on. Else let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's say, let's say. Uh, I'm saying if it's my child, yeah. right? I am pregnant a woman, and it's my child, and she says, I want to abort this. No way. Yeah, but what, what if it's somebody else's child? What if, oh, let's, let's do this. If it's not an unborn baby, but it's a one-month-old baby. And they're like, man, we're, we're dude, like this baby costs too much. Like I can't sleep. And they say, hey, man, we're going to kill this baby. What would you say? It's not your baby. Why? Hey, so here's the There's question. There's like laws to it, bro. You can't abort a baby when it's well, there, well, there are there are there are laws right now. They're trying to uh, have abortion after birth, but th don't, don't even think about laws because again, we already said there were laws in South Carolina that said you can enslave a black person. Okay, so let's talk politics. I don't agree with politics at all. No, but we're but, but what, what do you mean? Like, you don't you think there should be politicians? Well, I think there should be law. But I think we <coughs> support where every politician I agree. is a meeting. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. So, uh, no, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But they're in there for their own person. Why? Why are they cops like this? Sort of. Because they're in there for their own person. Why is that bad? Why does that matter? Why is that bad? Why why does that make them a cocksucker? Aren't they just aren't they just doing but aren't they just doing they make the rules they do. Yeah, but aren't they just chemically processing? What if somebody's like, man, I like daddy government like govern me harder, daddy. Like what 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 do you say to that person? What do you say to them? Who wants it? Yeah. Like yeah, okay. But, but so what I'm saying is, there's what, what I'm saying is, you 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 do all that you can to to be in the middle. And what I'm telling you is, there is no middle, particularly when it comes to law. There's no middle. Folks, I beg you, please. There's no middle. And so again, so the unborn baby, huh? OJ Simpson was there. What do you mean? He murdered this woman and got out of it. Is that a bad thing? You're still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. Is, it, is it bad that he got a, he went away scot free? No. Some people say no. Yeah, but what about what do you think? From your sins, folks. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, man, some people say, yeah, it's a good thing. Like, you know, some people say, I'm glad OJ got out. And other people say, nah, he should have, he should have, he should have rotted it, out, rotted it in prison. But here's what I'm saying. There's an objective truth that exists. If OJ, if OJ actually did murder them, and I believe he did. He deserves justice, does he not? Why would Jesus hate me? Jesus loved he rushed from 2000. Jesus loved <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Hey, he did. He rushed to that. Yeah, that guy. He gets up. Yeah, no. no, but yeah. But but he did, but he deserves. You know that. You, you know he you know he deserves justice. Children slaughtered and murdered. You know he deserves justice. Right. So that's what. You never get to live. Oh, OJ, come on, man. Like, did you did you hear the book that he wrote? Like, if I would have done it, and he basically went through like how I would have killed them if I did do it like he lived a normal life man he lived that he lived a comfortable life oj lived a comfortable life what, what, what i'm trying to get you to understand is you're for whatever issue we can talk about dude like i don't know we can talk about the right to bear arms i don't know if you i don't know what you believe there but again two people can have completely differing views on that uh, on that issue but the truth is here's a there's a truth that exists with regard to reality and it's objective it's not subjective what do you think, you think we should bear arms? yes i think you should have the right to defend yourself and you know why the second amendment was created so that politicians that you just called cocksuckers can't tyrannize us without the threat of being shot so I would say you have a fundamental right because you're a human. From what time? 1776. Do you think that the, the the means of being able to defend yourself and your family from a government tyrannizing you has? Do you think that still doesn't exist? 
in this country? Yeah. You don't think you should be able to defend yourself against a government that tyrannizes you? I mean, I've defended myself pretty well. I live pretty far away from everyone. Yeah, but what if, what if, what if the government comes to your house and like, hey man, you, uh, you know, you're not wearing the right color hat today. We're going to take your children and your wife and we're going to, you know, what would you do? Would you defend your family? Would you defend yourself? I think you would, man. And like the fact that you're thinking through it, like, you know, you know you would. What's your name? I have an abortion Look, Jesus came into the world, Sam, and he offers himself for wretched sinners like me. And he offers a true heart and a renewed mind that actually sees the reality for what it is. And that understands the subjective truth. Jesus says he's the way, the truth, and the life. And again, we're here advocating not just for babies. We're, we're certainly advocating for babies, but we're here to advocate for the gospel because that's what transforms, man. Like, even if uh, abortion ended in the state of Ohio, like, the real reality is the people of Ohio need to change heart. And the only means that happens is by the gospel. You need to change heart, Sam. That's what you need. No, not maybe. Like, like this is the reality, man, because you love your sin. And, we, and it goes back, you know, why'd you, why'd you leave? You know, Christianity at the beginning is because you love your sin. That's why I left. I was also like 10 years old. I yeah. Mean, it was just kind of my, my parents. Yeah, so certainly. Kind of yeah. Stuff. No, yeah. It wasn't me. But, but you, but you, I'm, I'm but it was you, Sam. The king, huh? the kings, and the Lord it was you, man. Lords, and you look, and you love your sin. To but Jesus God. came into the world so that he could, he could reorient that love towards righteous things. He gives a new heart and he gives a spirit that allows us to, and it causes us to obey his statutes and his laws so that we can say, hey, murdering a child in the womb is just as bad as murdering you because it's consistent, because God created that child in the womb like he created you. I think uh, about abortion, everything is Everything is situation. Is there any, is there any situation, right? I wouldn't want my child aborted, but if someone else wants a child aborted, I mean, how am I to say? But would you act the same way if a Mom and a dad were right here stomping out their two-year-old dog. That's not how abortion works, though. But it is, man. Have you? Have we you? We don't go. We don't go beat the hell out of the baby. And coat no, we just. No, we just. We just rip their legs and their arms off. No, chop their head off. I think we did that a little we, bit. I think we no did that a little bit before that happened. No. Before the formation of that. No. We gotta get the fucking. The, 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 I don't fucking know the cells. Yeah, I don't think the cells. What do you mean, man? I don't fucking know. That's what a baby forms. Yeah, but I don't you know how a baby forms. Them claim too. Yeah, yeah. But, we, but abortion at any stage is the murder of a child. And, and in Ohio, listen, man. Like this is the reality, man. They are they are tearing children. Why we got we can show you pictures, man, of children being mutilated in the womb. Like that's the reality. Of what's taking place? And even I don't know. Twenty weeks. Have you seen a twenty week old? How many weeks? How many weeks? Are you you're you're, you're afraid about forty weeks. I'm telling you, man. But again, the the three day old fertilized egg is is just as much for you and it's a 20 week old child that's, that's the consistent but that's but that's the consistent issue i get you i hear what you're saying yeah I get you. I get you. I don't know. I get you. I hear you. Yeah, but I think you do know that. I get you. I hear you. Yeah. I think we all have different views of everything in the world. Some, this lady has something different than I feel. Right? These people walking the street have a different view on something than aren't I feel. You, aren't you glad that people didn't live that way 200 years ago? Like, uh, you know what I mean? This guy owns slaves. I don't own slaves, but you know, if he wants to own a slave, that's right. Huh? I think there was oh, no, no, no. a vast majority of them did, but, but do you appreciate the ones that said, no, 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 no. That's a human being made in the image of God. We have to protect them and not enslave them. Don't you, uh, don't you appreciate those people? They're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know if like slavery's not cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, slavery's not cool. Murder's not cool. I, hear, but I don't know if God is involved. That's my thing. I don't know if God is Have you read Wilbur Wilberforce? Have you read Will, of William Wilberforce? He was, a, he was a born again Christian. He was the, 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 the spearhead of ending. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just not a big. Uh, and and the, these two things can exist. Christians own slaves too, right? Those two things can exist. In the 
the same time. Yeah. I just don't know. God is the only sovereign of the world. I've not found it. You are. You are. You let. Yeah, but no, that's how you're living. You're the ultimate arbiter. I'm not the ultimate arbiter. We're all a collection of people who live in this world. So for you, you're the arbiter of what's good for you. But for that person, I'm not going to tell that person what to do. That's your. That's I mean, your. If they murder me, they murder me. I don't know really what else. Yeah, if they murder me. Yeah, it's fine. But you don't want to murder me. I'm going to do You're going to advocate. You're going to advocate for yourself and, and for other innocent people. Right? Right? Sure. So that person murdered me. That's not right. Yeah. That's what laws are. But the question is, why is it not right? With your worldview. Your, Use your worldview your to tell me that. Another life, unvoluntary. Okay. Right? We're not at war. We're Have you heard life. what abortion is? You're taking a human life with a malice of forethought. I understand you. So be consistent there's then, man. Too, no, there's not. There's not. No. Is there a... Or a or your apathy towards it. I'm not, again, not scientific. I'm not sitting here saying I'm a baby. Yeah, no, no. But when a baby is formed, a baby is a formation of cells. You're a, you know you're a formation, a formation of cells. Of cells. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. But I have not got something. No, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, no, no, yeah, no. What you're no, Sam, hey, like, I, I, I want to just tell you this, man. Again, Jesus came into the world, and he offers himself for, for, for sinners like you, and he can give you a new heart, man. He can give you a consistent, a consistent worldview. That no, look, man, you ooze the image of God. You're oozing it. You know, you know that there are things happening that are wrong and that ought to be abolished. You know that. I do know that. And the only consistent end to that is that there's a God that exists that's given His law. And that same God took on flesh and He came to give His life. Okay. 